This is a photograph taken with the Nikon D850, which has 45.7 megapixel using a 300 millimeter 2.8 lens at one four thousandth of a second and 3.5 f-stop. You will notice the details in this photograph and I prefer to have it taken with this camera rather than a D5. I sold a D5 and I bought this camera in 2022. This is a photograph taken in the Everglades in 2019 with a D5 and a 300 millimeter 2.8 lens. And this photograph was not cropped, but it's a full frame. And I do not do any Photoshopping on any of my photographs because the name of my website is nophotoshopping.com. You can see the details are pretty good, but as we know, the megapixel is not as good as the Nikon D850. This photograph was taken in the Everglades with the Nikon D850. And you can see that the details are great in this picture. And this is why when I have to crop photographs, I rather have a higher me megapixel count with this D850 rather than the D5. This photograph was taken with the Nikon D850. And as you can see, I had to crop this photograph. But even after cropping it, because it has so many megapixels, it's, it's a good print if you want to make a big blow up of this picture. This photograph was taken with the Nikon D850 and with the 300 2.8 lens and 3.5 f-stop and 1 4 thousandth of a second and the details are pretty good even after it is cropped uh, about 20 percent this photograph of this aninga female was taken in everglades 2019 with a nikon d5 and this photograph was cropped uh, about five ten percent cropping on this photograph and that's what makes the difference in terms of switching from the d5 to the d850 i can crop much more for wildlife photographs i am michael payton stewart a budget wildlife photographer i started off with slide film and I'm now using digital cameras and I try to get the best value for my money. That's why I don't have a $12,000 600 F4 lens. It costs too much. I can't afford it. 